Well, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the boot order so you can uh, first boot your computer off a new SSD or something you have installed. Uh, so this is Windows 11 laptop. Let's go to Start, go to Settings, and then go on down to Windows Update. Then go to the right and go to where it says Advanced Options. Go on down to Recovery. Then go to Advanced Startup, Restart Now. Do not go to Reset This PC restart now here and then it's going to bypass uh having to press an f key to launch into bios menu and your computer is going to restart it's going to say please wait go black and then it's going to say the logo of your computer or the brand that you have and then you should be brought to this blue screen too now on this blue screen we just need to go to troubleshoot and then we can launch directly into bios from there so it only takes about a minute and a half to do this process and then you'll be in bios so here's troubleshoot and then go to advanced options uefi firmware settings restart and then that saves you time having to restart your computer like five or six different time uh guessing which key to press now under here go on over to boot and this is msi your version might look a little bit different for your bios depending on if you got like a i don't know a gigabyte or something go on down to uh, boot option number one if you want to boot directly off of uh, your hard drive first, you can change this on over and your hard drive should display on here. So you can see a uh, USB hard disk, uh, hard disk, Windows Boot Manager, Kingston. So that's my SSD that's on there with Windows. So it looks like I'm booting directly off of that. And then um, another thing that I can do is just switch the boot options around. So first it's going to boot off of my USB. Then it's going to go into my SSD. Then it's going to go into USB hard disk and then it's going to go to network. So you can just change the uh, priorities around number one, two and three. So if there is no USB detected, it's going to go to the next one. So uh, you might want to keep USB slash CD on there as number one. And then just uh, if you're booting from Windows or something first, go to boot option two. And then once you reformat that, if you're installing a new drive with Windows, uh, put your old drive as number three and then you should be good to go. I don't know if you still have it on there, you probably won't even need it on in there at that point. Just your boot, uh, your Windows C drive, your Windows drive, just put that as option number two and you should be good to go. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, uh, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below.